a cluster is defined as five or more related cases, but just telling you about a school cluster doesn't really give you the full picture. So if you look online at Wake County's dashboard, you'll see that schools with several confirmed cases of COVID don't really have a cluster. New at 11, CBS 17's Maggie Newland digging deeper into that for us in those numbers. Maggie. Rod and Angela, right now, nine schools are listed as having clusters in the Wake County public school system. But there are more than 500 COVID cases listed on the dashboard, and that means additional students in quarantine. It's also important to remember that these clusters were declared before traditional school students went back this week. In the month of August, the Wake County Public School System's dashboard shows 515 COVID cases. Those in close contact with those students or staff members have to quarantine. That means anyone who's been within six feet for a total of 15 minutes. He was in school for exactly six days and he had his first exposure. We got a phone call on Sunday afternoon from the assistant principal who told us. And apparently she was exposed last Friday. Richie Shacker's son ultimately tested negative for COVID, and Sarah Coggin's daughter has no symptoms so far. But the virus is spreading in multiple Wake County schools. According to the district, nine schools, five elementary schools, two middle schools, and two high schools have clusters, which means at least five related cases within 14 days of each other. Two high school clusters happened before school started. Nightdale High School posted on its website that the cluster there involved the athletic program. And parents told us Sanderson's in a similar situation. Last week's football game was canceled. According to the Wake County dashboard, Sanderson has had 25 pending or confirmed cases this month. Parents dealing with students in quarantine say they are doing what they can to help their kids through a difficult situation. We're just, you know, juggling that whole remote work parent school teacher thing. They hope they don't have to deal with more quarantines throughout the year. I'm worried that this could happen again and again. Now, I asked Wake County about what happens if both children are wearing masks when they're exposed. And they said as long as both children are wearing masks correctly, 100% of the time they are within six feet of each other, then they don't have to quarantine. But they pointed out that children take off their masks when they eat, when they drink, and a lot of them when they play outside. So 15 minutes can add up pretty quickly. I did ask how many students are currently quarantined. They did not have that information right now. We're live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.